Mom, this is my uniform. You said that we were going to amend it this weekend, so let us go. <clears throat> yes, actually I did, but um, your, your father is not yet back. Your father is not yet back. The truth is, you see this, your uniform is now very old. So instead of mending it, keep mending it, and after it will tear again, let's wait so that when your father comes back, he will give me money to make new one for you and your brother. Mom, why do you talk as if he cares? Shh, don't say that. Your father cares about you and your brother. No, he doesn't. I may be a little girl, but I understand that he doesn't care about her. Stop trying to protect him. He doesn't deserve it. People are not going to the tailor shop again. Imagine mommy saying that daddy will come back from Portacot and give her money to buy us new uniforms. Which daddy? We all know daddy doesn't like us. And she's defending him. Well, let us hope he will change for good. Let's keep hoping. My husband is back with a new car. Sonny, happiness, your father is back. My husband, you're welcome. Our new car is fine. Your daddy is back. <laughs> daddy. daddy. Hey, How are you people? Um, our new car is fine. Oh, um, it's actually not our car. Um, the car actually belongs to someone. So it's gonna be here for just a little. What are you doing? Can you stop what you're doing? Put that thing back into the car. Daddy, put the body for us. I am talking to you. Put that thing back into the car. Did I say she bring it out? My, but my husband, that's biscuits and granites, or that's snacks. Who told you that's biscuits and granites? Put it back there. Uh, uh, son, uh, please, uh, go to the front of the car. There's a bread there. That one is for you. Go and bring it. Gently, eh? Uh -huh. Bring the bread. Why are you slamming the door like that now? Don't slam the door anyhow. Take the bread and uh, go inside. That one is you people's own. Why are you looking at? If the bread is not enough, tomorrow I will buy another bread. If it's jumbo size you want, I'll buy jumbo size tomorrow. Eh? Uh, oh, I'm forgetting something. Um, I'm supposed to put this inside the house. Very important. Um, please, uh, let's not forget, uh, nobody should go close to this car. You see this car? Even yourself, don't even go close. The car doesn't belong to us, eh? My husband, are you, are you going out again? Um, yes, I have a few things to take care of. I'll be back soon. Girlfriend, tell me, between uh, a large and the maker, who is your serious date? <laughs> What's funny? Love it. I thought you should know me by now. Oh, Mo, I beg. I am not dating any of them. I am not dating anyone. I am just cashing out, making money. 
I use what I have, this natural endowment, organic, not handmade, not Granville, to get what I want. That is what I'm doing now. I'm cashing out. I don't have anything serious with any of that. Simple. Please. Who is born to, to, to suffer in this generation? I am not born to suffer. I don't even want to suffer. That's the goal, to enjoy myself in this campus. Nothing else. Ah. Babe, you and I know very well that a maker loves you with all his heart. Try and reciprocate the love. No doubt that he loves me. But he's married. He's talking about love with a married man, please. Before Mika got married, he tried everything possible to win your heart. But he rejected him. I rejected him because he was a poor church rat. He was a village church rat. I am allergic to poverty. Yes. I am using what I have, this natural endowment, organic, not ground view, not unmade, to get what I want. Now that he's married and he has made money, I just want to enjoy his money in peace. Nothing else. Please. Talk about the devil. Okay. Have a peek. <clears throat> Hello. Good afternoon. You're where? In my hostel? You didn't tell me you're coming home this weekend. Okay. I'm coming out. He's here. He's here. Let me go see him. Okay. I am waiting right here. <laughs> go get. Hello, babe. <coughs> That's my baby. Yeah. How are you? Oh, you even bought a new car. Oh, come on. As for the car, it's not mine. Come oh, here. You're welcome. Oh. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine. You're looking so beautiful. Mm. What did you buy for me? Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I actually got you something. Mm. A boy is in the car. Mm -hmm. Something of origin. Mm -hmm. I came back to the mm -hmm. I can't wait. I can't be coming to see my baby without bringing oh, it. Oh, shit. You know that, yeah? You want it? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> go ahead. You know what I like. You oh, do yours. know what I oh, like. Oh, come on. You do know what I like. Oh, you baby. Anything for you, darling. Thank you. You know what? Um, as a matter of fact, um, how about you go in to drop this inside, then you come out. I have a surprise for you. Let me take you somewhere you like. You know how much I love surprises. Anything for you. Anything. <laughs> okay. I'll see you soon. I'm coming. I'll wait for you. Hurry up. You are who? Eh, it's for me, babe, not for us. Babe, I might know your bestie again. Yeah, keep your bestie. Because it's, that's got to be denied. I'm not your bestie. Anyways, I'm coming. He said he has another surprise for me. So I am going for the next surprise. Babe, I'm done with you guys now. Eh? You say? Please, please, please. Three is a crowd. <laughs> Just uh, enjoy these ones, you know. Just enjoy from this. I'm coming. I'll see. Bring one, come back. Mm. Okay, I'm here. Let's go. By the way, who owns this car? Is he your colleague in the office or in Podakot? Okay, um, what if I should tell you that the owner of this car is here with us? I don't understand. Wait. Where are you taking me to? 
What about the surprise package you said you have for me? We are there already. And the surprise is there too. Ah. The surprise ah. is here. What are you saying? I, 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 don't mess with my brain, please. Don't mess with my brain. Are you telling me you bought this car for me? <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, this is your car. Have a look oh, at it. Oh my goodness. Oh. You see, the, the fact is I've always loved you from the very first time I met you. The very first day I set my eyes on you, like, I haven't been able to help myself since then. Okay. If she wants you to marry her now, that's the right thing to do now. Marry her. That's the right thing to do. Marry her. Marry her. Marry her. Marry her. Marry her. Marry her. How can you open your mouth and be sounding that way? That if I want to marry her, I should marry her. How can you be suggesting I should marry a woman I don't even love? Bam, 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 bam. Mika, don't go, don't go there, don't go there. What are you saying? Ha! Huh? When your parents died, this girl was your parent. I mean, she was a sibling you never had. That girl worked tirelessly, I can recall. Everything she did for you to go to school and even train you to university level. Oh, okay, you thought she was doing that because she's always doing, uh, she's doing all the chuku. She did those things because she loves you. Nah, look, let me tell you, you must marry her. You can't, oh, but you can't try to be Wait, let me, you ask you, let me ask you a sensitive question. If you're loving someone or if you're in love with someone, it's not imperative that you also look and find out if that person loves you as well. What are you saying? Hmm? What are you saying? Just listen to yourself. This kind of way come for me now. Make woman train me now. Make me marry the woman. Hey, go for her now. You don't have shame. Okay. Don't insult you me. You are in great. It is not because I called you to come and do this. You one. are in. I'll leave there. I'll leave there. Are you threatening me? I'll leave there. I'll, I'll go here. Bugging. That party on Saturday will not go with me. Don't try. Don't, don't who will pay for this merinda? If you leave her without my consent, who will pay for the merinda? I will owe my answer by now. Who is she? Who is who? That girl. Uh, who is she? That saucy girl. That is um why he gets daughter now. Oh, that woman that refused to get my married. My goodness. She stayed in her father's house and training her children. In Boy, her, this her is my house. exact spec of a woman. This is everything I want in a woman. Well, calm down. Oh, no, no, no. I've seen the kind of woman Susanna I want. Sana has everything she has. No, it's a lie, my friend. They are not the same size. Okay, okay mama, you're there. Come back here. They are not the same. Hello, mama. Hi. Excuse me. Yes. Um, hi. Um my name is um Emeka. I'm the son of a I know who you are. And why did you stop me? Um I never knew you already know me. Uh, that shows we're already flowing. Uh, I, I I I I I wanted to let you know that uh, I like you. You see, you are everything I wanted in a woman. From head to toe, eh? You are just a perfect woman for me. If you can give me an opportunity, I, I will spoil you. I will show you what it means to be a queen and how to take care of that same queen. Eh? Really? Yes. Emeka. Yes. After you deceived Susanna, after she trained you through school, she gave a life for you. And you want to chase after another woman? Yeah? Why, 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 why is everybody saying the same thing? Why, why is everyone in this village saying the same thing that I did this to Susanna, I did that to Susanna? I, I, I didn't do anything to Susanna. The only issue here is that I, I, I never loved her. I wonder why people want me to marry a woman that I, I don't love. Simply because she, she played the mother role when I lost my mother. She was there to console me and, and, and be there for me. It's not the most that must end up marrying the kind of person that, that was there. Simply because she did me a favor. It doesn't work that way now. Why is everyone now saying uh, as if I did something wrong to the girl? A woman you love, you say, Emeka. Yes. Yes, and you're that woman I love. See, just give me a chance, eh? What I will do with this your life? Eh? You see this your go hair that is shining. By the time I come into your life, eh, I will shine it very well. It's only like palm oil. It will spark. Look at me very well. Check me. You are so beautiful. Did you see poverty written on my body? Huh? I am allergic to poverty. I am allergic to poor men. Did you hear that? Um, if you ever 
in your entire life. Stop me to spit this rubbish you just spit now. I would make sure I pour water on your face. Um, um, see, there's something about me that you don't know. I I don't want to say it now and to not look as if I'm singing praises, but it's the reality. You see what I'm looking now? This is not a sign of poverty because I, I, I have not told you before. <laughs> uh, if you know the guy that is standing before you now, eh, you will just hold me and pamper me and roll me a shawarma. I'm telling you. See, I am a graduate of chemical engineering. I actually came out with first class. Men like me in oil company are collecting thousands of dollars every month. Ha! See, just give us a chance. You will not regret it. I am a millionaire in making, you know. Forget this thing you're seeing here. Mr. Millionaire in making. I'm telling you, I make a, I make a, I make a millionaire in making. Mr. Millionaire in making. When your millions have matured, I'm sure you know where to find me. Right? But for now, take your stinky, dirty, poverty self out of my face. Rubbish. Idiot. Nonsense. Rubbish. Yo. Yo. Don't come close to me, Don't stay from the story from me, oh. Relax. Let me let me take it. It toast. Why are you laughing now? Eh? What is funny in this matter now? Amy Beke, I told you. Next time, know the kind of girls to stop on the road. You see, eh, for, for this thing she just said to me, eh, I, I, I must date this girl. I'm telling you the truth. There's, there's something I learned here now. She just awoken the spirit of making money in me. How why? She just she just made the fire to burn more. Okay. See, let me tell you something, eh? There's no way I will not get you in this life. I will make money and come back for you. And I'll remind you of this day. Go for Susanna. Susanna. She has everything that girl has. The scale of preference is not the same. Boss, look at the scale of preference. This is my spec. You are an ingrid. Emeka, you are an ingrate. You don't, don't, don't insult Let me. Let me laugh again. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What can you say? What can you say? What did I do wrong? What have I done? Haven't we been living together as man and woman? Making love, spending time together? Come on now, what else do you want me to do? Well, I'm, I have a minute to ask you this question. Why is it that I love you so much and I don't get that same return? I don't get that same love from you. You don't reciprocate the love I have for you. Do you know how that makes me feel? I am willing to go over the moons and make you feel like the woman you should be. The cruise queen across the planet. But you're not giving me the vibe that I should get from you. Baby, please, don't digress my love for you. You just bought me a car and this calls for celebration. Let's go out and celebrate. Okay, I promise we will revisit this matter. We will talk about it. Is that alright? But for now, I love you. <laughs> That's not enough. I promise we will revisit this matter. This is my me. <laughs> Marry me. Please, marry me. Like I said, we'll talk about it. Mm? It's okay. Oh my goodness, this guy is so beautiful. I love the interior, the leathers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love everything about I need to go out and celebrate. We need to celebrate. Okay. Just guess. What? Maybe guess now. Yes! I'm not good in guess. What are you jumping about? just bought me a car. The lie. Yes! Is it true? Is it true? Do you know what? I am not even joking. I couldn't even believe what just happened there. Your bestie is now a car owner. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What happened? 
What happened? I mean the, the car that you went out with. Well, I told you the car is not mine. I suppose it belongs to one of your colleagues in Oilanga sector now in Portacot. So I'm wondering where you took the car around this place. What sort of stupid question is that? Eh? Why are you asking me stupid questions this afternoon? Listen, I'm, I'm not caught up for this. Sorry, wait, Cheryl. Hey, wait, anyway. That aside, let's talk the one that is most important now. Egoni. We don't have anything in this house. We are starving. Your children's school uniform are torn. What does Kayenda la please? Just give me some money. I need to buy some food stuff and also arrange their school uniform. Oh, Biko, what, what, what has come over you? Exactly what has come over you? I mean, when did you degenerate into this woman that you are now? Because back in the days, when things were rough, you used to be this hard-working woman that would work from morning to evening, from hours to hours, just to take care of two of us. Ever since you got married that we have kids, you don't do any of those things anymore. All you do is to create this impression that you're the one doing this, doing that. Go and work like other people and put something on the table for the mm -hmm. kids too. You are the one who is getting it wrong. You are the one who is getting it wrong. I did everything to make sure you acquire good education and now you have a good job. You expect me to still go out there to do menial jobs. Oh, wonderful. I am now a married woman, married to a rich man known to oil and gas. Oh. I should have some rest. Please, let's have some money for ego. I'm not asking you money for hair. I'm not asking for vacation. I'm not asking for moto. Just no, no, no. Fine, please. I see. Keep praying, keep praying. You want to shout. You want everybody to know that you trained me in school. Let me help you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. She was on a summit through school. Now I have passed the information to the world. Are you okay now? Please, I'm not okay. I need some money. You need to work like other women too. Stop sounding as if I'm lazy now. No, but you know you're lazy. At the moment you're very lazy. You're supposed to be putting the bills too with me. You don't sit back and cross your leg as if you're the only woman in the world who has ever saw a man through school. You're not putting any bill. You need food to be like here and when in. Oh, here and wear school uniform. There's nothing at home. Absolutely nothing. Chukwu make a biko, biko, biko. I am begging you in the name of God, give us money. Can you, can you, can you excuse me? I'm not blocking you. I'm just appealing to your conscience. Get better mad on my rogue. Are you this heartless? Are you too heartless? This is not what I paid for. This is this is not.
give me that money. Give that money will solve the problem. No, it will not solve it. How can what do you mean? Which problem can I solve it? So if I live in this house with these children, this is what you have to tell me. I didn't know your children. I want to take care of them. So does that mean you cannot do anything without me? Is that what you're trying to tell me? You cannot take care of these children by absence. Oh, please. Biko, I beg in the name of God Almighty. I was now. Stop pretending. Stop being wicked. You know 3,000 naira cannot do anything for us in this house. Your kids school clothes are torn. I need to go and sew it. They don't have snacks. We will still enter transport to school. A whole lot of things. In the name 3,000 naira. What is all this now? Why are you like this, Susanna? I should be asking you. Susanna, why are you like this? I'm asking you. See, gone are the days in marriage where the financial responsibility is left for the man alone. Nowadays, the woman comes and meet the man halfway, and they both come and work as synergy to run their family. But yours, no. You want to stay back and retain the old system of marriage. Time has changed. The woman works, and the man works. If I'm giving you 3,000 naira, I expect you to dig your hands into your pocket and make this up, and solve the family problem, and don't disturb me. I hate stress, please. Don't disturb my life. Don't stress me. Why are you mean? So, it is now you know that man supposed to come halfway, woman come halfway. Look at me, Chukwemeka. Do I look like somebody, her husband, is in money? It is already bad enough you're not taking care of me. In Sobuadro, how about your children? How about your beautiful daughter and your adorable son? Would you take care of them? It has gotten to the extent that they already know that their father don't care about them. Man, you're giving me 3,000 naira. You earn millions every month. Wear good clothes. Live in a mansion. Drive any car of your choice. Go to a club and pop champagne. But you cannot take care of your family. And a Christian man come halfway. You have not even come. You have not done as much as I have done for this family. If only you understand how difficult it is right now. The economy is so bad, but you won't understand because all you do is to stay back at home for money till night. You don't know what is happening out there. Times are very hard. There's no money anywhere. Take the 3,000 and go solve the problem. Don't disturb my life, please. This will not be enough to solve the problem. Susanna, I said use the 3,000 and solve the family problem. There is nothing I can solve with 3,000. Susanna, dip your hands in your pocket. You know how to dip your hands. Find something and put on a 3,000 error and solve a family problem. Please do not disturb me. I've said this before. Don't disturb me. See the pain I'm being through All because of love Each step is so painful Honestly, I'm lost The loneliness I face The endless tears I shed My heart is torn apart On yes, it comes Mom, mm -hmm. why are you angry? No, I'm okay. Mom, dad doesn't like us. Are you sure he's our dad? Why are you talking that? Shh, don't say that. And he loves you people, okay? You don't have to, to say that about your father. He's your father. Mm -hmm. So, um, have you been waiting the food I get to you? We're not hungry. Hmm? Yes, we're not hungry. No, you people have to be. Oh, yeah. Stand up. Let's go, sir. Hey, let's go. Don't think your father don't love you. Oh, he loves you. Let's go. Let's go. We have to. They live in a big house, well furnished. But look at the food they are eating. God, why? You said your blessings make rich and add no sorrow. Why is my own different? How can my children be suffering in the midst of wealth? What kind of wickedness is this? Why is my husband's heart turned perpetually against me? I thought that the coming of these children would have made him love me, appreciate me, value me and treat me right. A woman that gave you a son and a daughter. Hasn't she tried? Please, God, you have to do something before I lose my mind. Please. Please. Please.
Hashipoteka. Nee, that's what I'm hearing. And I'm very sure to the maker that bought that car for her. I'm very, very sure. Yes, it is true. Because I saw a maker last weekend in this car. And last weekend, he visited in this very car. Huh. Hey, how could a maker be so senseless and irresponsible? Leaving his wife and children in the village while he's busy lavishing money on, the, on that his side chick. Shai, this is so bad. Eh? This is so bad. This is poor, poor of Juju. Abby. Yes, now. How can a man in his right senses leave his wife and children to suffer? Why his side chick is busy as in living, living large? Eh? This is Juju. Huh? All those girls do for money these days, eh? Scares me, oh. Scares me. My sister. <laughs> leave that one, oh. Let's go. Help myself in trouble. Honestly. Hey. Mama! <laughs> Mama, come outside. Your daughter has made it. Look at this. Look at this, Mama. This is my car. What are you saying? I said my car. Check it out. This car belongs to you. Yes, mama. Hey! Oh, no, no. Let them come and see. My nigga has organ. You mean this guy is yours? You can say that again, mama. This guy is yours. That's for me. That's for you. me. I'm going to be here. 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 Doris has made it! Doris, open it, Mama. Doris has made it! Hey! You think you should come and see me? Yes! Open the door. It's happening, small sport. Yes, Mama. That's for me. That's for me. Hey! 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 Yes. Oh, Guru, be, be, be. Your daughter has made it. Susan. Susan. I don't know why are you crying. What is the problem? Eh? Why are you looking like this? I have warned you to stop crying for a maker. It's not worth it. Just look at you. Your face, your eyes are swollen. Life did not leave me with any other option than to cry. Who will be humiliated and, and subjected to this magnitude of suffering that would not cry? Eh, it will not be easy. It's not easy. Susanna, Biko, stop doing this to yourself. Stop crying. Seriously, you're causing more harm to yourself, to your health. Biko. Oh? I came to see if you can lend me some money. Yes. I've decided to face my fate. I've decided to go back to my normal menial job so that I can survive and take care of my children. What? I I've made up my mind to face this reality squarely with everything in me. That's why I'm here. Susanna, what are you talking about? Because. I, I don't get it yet. You... <sighs> I thought my husband getting a good job would permanently make me to stop suffering. I thought him being comfortable and, you know, making money will make us happy or give us happy home. That's why in gym, everything within my power to make sure I support my husband to succeed. Little did I know that the moment he starts making money, that is the day I will start suffering. Not just suffering, I will suffer more and even more. And if you see what I'm going through, you will not believe. So a maker has refused to change. He's even worse. Ah, he's even worse. He came back after one month of leaving the house and gave me 3,000 naira. This 3,000 naira, there is no uh, snacks for my kids. 
There are school uniforms at all. I need to sew it. So many things that needs to be done. 3,000 naira in this economy, in this inflation. I don't understand uh, how he wants us to survive. I don't know. Hey, this is pure wickedness. Eh? How can someone decide to be wicked to his own children? His own flesh and blood. Where is it done? I don't know. I don't know. Kakita. It's, it's very confusing. That's why I decided to come to you as my good friend. Biko. Biko. Nerumaka. Biko. Okay. As for the money you asked about, how much do you want? Let me even see if I have up to that. Um, 10,000 naira will go a long way. Source of 10,000 naira. No problem. Hope it will be enough for you. Yes, it will go a long way. Nadia. Oh, a busy now. Oh. The loneliness I face, the endless tears I share, my heart is torn apart. On Yezikam, the coron. I was coming to your place. To my place? Hope all is well. Yes, ma. I just want to inform you that I'm ready to do any kind of menial job for you as usual. Washing clothes, washing plates, sweeping, weeding your farm. Anything, as long as you pay me. I don't understand. Are you not married to a make again? I'm still married. I know. I know. So, I know. Why the dirty job? Where your husband bought a brand new car for his girlfriend? Doris. Emeka. Uh -huh. Susan. My husband. Are you not in this village? The news is everywhere. He bought a brand new car for his girlfriend. The girl is busy enjoying his money. And you're here looking for dirty jobs to do. No, now. You're supposed to be enjoying the money, not the other way around. You've done enough. Auntie, Auntie Kambia. Kambia, good. Huh? Thank you, ma. I'll, I'll get back. I'll get back. You need, you need to. Hello, hello, hello. What is it? I just heard something that is burning my head now. I just hope it's not true. What I just it? pray they are exaggerating or joking or it's just a mega gossip. Come down and talk to me, Ogini. That's my husband, the maker, bought a car for his girlfriend. <laughs> You're just hearing it now. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Yes, the news is everywhere. This is no longer news now. Eh? The gay she has been cruising in the new car in school and at home. Yes, the news is everywhere. You see, America, <laughs> they are not the talk of the town in this village. Oh. Eh? How about the Quaro, Mio, and Juliet? So they did not lie. It's true now. It's true. My husband bought a car for another woman. Maka, why? 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 Hey! It can't be Susanna. Make, make, make it make sense. Make it make sense. I want you now, Ota. Where is your husband now, Ota? And look at what that girl is. Yes. Is that girl that did not contribute anything to his growth, to his existence, to his success? To he made me a marry this guy. Is this the best way to calm pay me? Calm down, please. Calm down. Eh? Please, <laughs> calm down. Emeka, Emeka doesn't deserve this, so eh, don't kill yourself. After everything I did for Emeka, now that I'm supposed to be enjoying, I go see you one proper so This is the best way to treat me. In a go side chick moto. Ne any proper wife three thousand naira on a daba for. Hey, hey, I don't understand. Though the thing is, it's just like a joke. I don't understand. What in our mom? What in our mom? You need. What have I done to him? Why would he treat me this way? The wickedness is too much. I know that he's mad. You can't go. I can't go. Because of your kids. No food. Nothing. Nothing. I am not complaining. It's okay, so I'm not giving you Thank you, you for confirmation. I am not complaining, Biko. Susanna, no please take it easy. 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 Take it eas
think it is. I know why I'm saying this. Your kids, they need you. And Mecca. Hey. My heart is torn apart. On come Imagine. Look at how someone's wife is looking like a dejected soul. Why the side chick is busy swinging in money? Look at how she's trekking up and down the village, estimating the whole dust of this village. Why her husband's side chick is busy grooving a brand new car? Huh? Irony of life. Irony of life. I feel for her shout. Hmm. Emeka, look at what you have subjected me to. People are now mocking me, laughing at me. Emeka, some don't cry, don't cry. But it's okay. I will not cry again. Some of the night, uh, you're disturbing my sleep. Yeah, Cheru, please. I don't know the right time to call you again. If I call in the day, you tell me you're busy. Eh? You tell me you will call me back, and you will not call me back. You tell me you are going on that shop, you are inside water. Thank God you are now on the planet. I want us to talk. Or the... What is it? Be fast, please. I want to sleep. I'm, I'm living very in the morning. Emeka, why are you cheating us like this? Eh? Don't tell me that you brought a loaf of bread, of umkuru bread, for your wife and your beautiful kids. Whereas you bought all those, all those goodies for that your daughter, Jezebel girlfriend. Okay, man, you know? Susanna, what nonsense are you talking about? Okay, ma, pretend, Gwana. Don't pretend. It's the love I have for you, remember, now calm down. It doesn't make me stupid. You think I don't know? The car you brought to this house that I asked you, who owns this car? What did you reply me? That is the same car you gave to that girl. Oh, now I'm enjoy. Look at your wife, now no. Munya Oga for nothing. But you bought that girl a car that she's cruising everywhere with, enjoying, whereas you cannot take care of your own family. Susanna, it is my money. I chose to buy anything I want to buy for anybody. This is my hard earned money. I chose to spend it whichever way I want to spend. Not even you would tell me. Ah, see! I make a I will tell you! I am your wife! I will tell you how to spend your money! Because I am there from the scratch! Oh my own enjoyment here, I will tell you! Let me even ask you, why can't you take care of us? I know I have been the one doing the loving. I have been the one trying to make this relationship work. So You don't have any idea of love for me. But how about your beautiful kids? How about your son? How about your daughter? What have they done to you that you cannot take care of them? If you don't write 2,000, you don't write 3,000, a bro can money, bro, your girlfriend will be living the liver local. Yeah, 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 yeah. I cannot be listening to this nonsense that you're saying to me by the time of the night. Goodbye. Don't cut the don't cut the call. I, I cut one phone now. We need to have this conversation. <laughs> Nedalo, um, please, is this Obiokoli's farmland? Um, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yes, this is uh, Obiokoli's farmland. Are you the second person he said would be joining me today? Yes. You're welcome. As you can see, I'm already on this side. Eh? You can start from the other side. That side. Eh? Okay, this side. Yeah, that side. Okay, I will start right away.
c'est quoi là Naïvement, tu lis dans mon show. C'est like this your first time doing this kind of work before. Ah. Ah. Mm. Thank you for the water. Thank you so much, okay? It's nothing. Uh, yes. It's my first time doing this kind of work. Um, my name is Emeka, the son of um, Jidamaka Ejugwa, the wife of the journalist Uche Ejugwa. Mm. Yes. Can you people living in just before? Eh, what are you guys doing? Monizama Ajahar Pilato, a chicken just came in. Oh, sorry, my bad. You speak out so very well. Don't mind me. Sometimes I forget that I'm now in the east and I end up speaking out, sir. Um, thank you very much for the water, okay? Okay. Yes, um, we stayed in Joss. But not until Boko Haram killed my father, my mother had to bring me down to the village. And suddenly, after my dad's demise, she has been the one catering for everything, virtually everything for us. And it's so unfortunate that she's very sick now. So there is no money for her medications, no money for food. And she's been the one catching for us. So I just have to run around looking for all these many jobs that I can do to see if I can raise some little money for us. Yes. Thank you for the water especially. Thank you so much. Okay. You saved the soul. I understand. Sorry for the loss, okay? Um, don't worry, you can go. I will do both my job and your own. I will tell him that both of us did the job so he can pay you, okay? I mean, but you don't know me before. Why are you doing this? People meet in a day. I didn't know you. But we are friends now. Okay, thank you. Thank you mostly for the water. Okay? I God bless you so much. Okay. Um, I really appreciate your kind gesture. I mean, you're such a beautiful soul. Thank you very much. Well, I did very well in my Wayek and Jam. As it stands right now, three universities have offered me admission. But I am so confused. I don't even know which one of them to choose. Wow! That's great! You must be a brilliant student. Well, I used to be the best in my class. Hmm, that's good. Great. My greatest challenge right now is my mother's health. I mean, I want her to be well. She has to be okay to see me through my education. Don't worry, eh? Don't be, okay? Don't worry, your mother will be fine. Just be strong in your prayers. Me too. I'll be putting her in my prayers, okay? Um, thank you. You are truly a great friend. Thank God our path crossed. Thank you very much. It is called destiny. Oh. I thought it was destiny. I thought it was love at first sight. Just Dhamugu. Love just destroyed my sense of reasoning. My thinking faculty on Wednesday and now water. Me. Look at me. Hey. Ah. What am I hearing? Eh? What am I hearing? So that my mother is gone. Hey! My only reason for survival is gone. My dream of going to school is gone. I said, Sarah. Emeka, 
be a man. And I can be a man. Be a man. Stop crying, okay? Stop crying. Everybody's gone. It's just you remaining. And very soon you will join them. Tell me. Muno Negano. Who will stay here with me? Who? <sighs> Emeka, mm -hmm. listen to me. Even if everyone else leaves you, I will never leave you. Yes, I will stay by you till the end of time. That I promise you. Okay? St just stop worrying yourself, eh? Stop crying. What about my admissions? I mean, my dream of going to school is dead. Who will send me to school? Who? Even if you stay with me, okay, fine. But who will send me to school? Who? Hey. Mama. Emeka, look at me. Look at me. Even if it means working from morning to the next morning to be able to sponsor your university education, I will do it so that your dreams of going to school will not die with your mother. Not when I am alive. Don't just bother, okay? Stop crying. I'm, I'm not crying. I'm it's not. okay, eh? Don't cry. Unless you want me to join you. And I will join you. Don't cry, I'm not. It's I'm not okay. Crying. It's okay, don't okay. worry. Everything will be fine. Just that I'm wondering how possible it is for me to stay without my mother. My beautiful mother. I understand. I am here with you, okay? I understand. It's okay. It's okay. 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 It's okay, right? Okay, it's okay. Like this now. Uh -uh. Okay. Um, this is three hundred and thirty thousand naira I borrowed from our meeting money, where we do daily contributions. I hope this will help you to pay up your hostel fee and your first year school fees. Three hundred thousand naira. How do you intend to pay this back? It will take me up to six months to pay back, as long as God keeps bringing more jobs for me to do. Mm. But, Susanna... Don't worry, don't worry. Huh? Why are you doing all this for me? Why? Emeka, it's because I love you. I, I love you. I fell in love with you the very first day I saw you in that farmland. Yes. You love me? Yes. Emeka. 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 After everything, Maggie, after all I did for you, I made sure you went to school and when you graduated, I made sure I got you a befitting job. I know what I sacrificed for you to be where you are today. And this is all you could pay me back with in a movie. In a movie, what have I done? For you to get this job of your dream, I'm a you taking, no? 
I know, I know what I suffered. I know how I managed to get to this job. <laughs> I didn't know I was digging my own grave. Hi! God. <sighs> Is it Emeka? Yes. But you people are not married yet. I know. He made just the dabata. He promised to come and see my people before he comes out. Better. Better. I think I want to need him. Better. Ha. I'm even tired because I'm fasting. I'm fasting and praying now. It's been four years now since Emeka graduated, no work. I know there is no job, bro, but his case will be an exception now. He will get good job, so he'll be able to take care of us. Because of the situation now, I have to work. I have to still pray for him. Because if wait. I don't work, how will I now take care of him and myself? Wait, wait, Jerry. You mean you are pregnant and you're fasting and you still came to work with it? What will I do? I just told you now that Emeka is here to get a job. If I don't, if I don't fast now, how will God answer my prayer? How will God see my pains and, and wipe my tears? If I don't work, how am I going to feed myself and Emeka? Eh? If Aka, going... Aka, what did Emeka? Is he not the man here? Bro, you're misunderstanding the whole thing now. Did I tell you he's lazy? I said he's been going about searching for a job now. Will he get a job eh, in the farm? Eh? Will he get a good job there? Is Botengoke a graduate with a good result? Tall, handsome and man. so, so you should kill yourself for him. It's not like that. Please, so you don't need that. You don't need that. Just take it slow. Take it slow. My friend, your feelings are valid. I understand your feeling for me, but I also want you to know that Otak or the Jordan man. Let me just continue this way. If Emeka gets a good job now, the way I'll be enjoying, you'll be happy for me. Oh, I know, I know, but just leave Emeka to be doing the whole work. Eh? Why you take care of yourself? You why you don't me? Eh? You're pregnant now. Because I don't want anything to happen to you. I don't want it because you don't want by your still very important to me. Oh, Thank just take it easy. America is the man here, because mm -hmm. you know? see the pain I'm being through all because of love. Each step is so painful. Honestly, I'm lost. The loneliness I face. <laughs> Your heartless Obi Dagi Mini. You are mean. After all the prayers, after fasting, praying, going to the mountains just for you to succeed in life. Even when I was pregnant, I be my fasting to make sure my husband succeeds. And everything I did for you, and everything I did for you. I jump madu. This is how you're paying me back. This is how you're paying me back. This is how you're paying me back. Give me we can. Take it. No, not a nice person. Because if not for anything, for the sake of God, for everything I have contributed in this life, give me a You are supposed to think twice before you treat me like this. 
Now you are rich. You are now a big boy. Mawoka Patagoni. It's now prostitutes that are enjoying your money. The money I prayed for. The money I waited for. The money I worked hard for. You also made me enjoy. Oka Maniro. No problem. No problems. Of it drop, Goko. You drop the call now. You do what you want. You buy who you want to buy car, but you cannot you cannot take care of me. Look at me. You cannot take care of me. Shan! Ucho! Shag in shame on you. You are frustrated with me. Are you proud of yourself? To go and make a year ago, I make what we look at your wife. Look at me again, I can't. Megan, emotionally you're not there. Physically you're not there. Financially you're not there. Spiritually you are not there. Go. 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 I don't deserve this. You will not even give me money to feed your kids properly. You have 1,000, 2,000 and I got to work. Even if you don't love me, take care of your children. Me too. Go. I didn't sleep early, I did midnight prayer, and I didn't even know when I slept off here. You need to get ready for school quickly. Or you have to go and start taking your shower. Let me prepare right. the food first. This is his car. Hope you did your homework. Yes. Did you do your own? Oh yeah. Thank Off to school. Mind. Anywhere you see silver car, that's your daddy's car. See me walk in. Yeah. Susan! Did you see me walk in? I passed you. And you acted as if you didn't see me. <laughs> Susanna! Susanna, I am talking to you. Please. Okay, it's alright. Ignore me. When it's time for money, 
Abiyakwanam, don't come to me when it's time to need it's money. It's like you have forgotten so soon. Which money are you even talking about? Which money? In this relationship, I've been to I single-handedly funded this relationship, funded you, funded your future, funded your education. Is it? Is it? You know what? Tell me, I'm not here to If not for me, Emeka, you wouldn't have been anywhere close to where you are today. God blessed you. God started blessing you. So can Zweike. I decided to rest because I thought my husband is now in a better position to take care of me. Na me want to go do. I'm not not Diego Promas. But no problem. Let me assure you one thing. You see this, my kids and I. Hunger will never kill us. I will make sure I take care of them with my last sweat and blood. Hey, mama, I'm not a lazy girl. How to take on a condition, bend the crayfish. I single-handedly trained you in the university. So what makes you think I cannot take care of my children? What makes you think I am not capable? It's all right. I know it's you. I can see the devil has succeeded in planting something in your lips, and that's why you're ranting and raving as if you're a mad dog. But it's okay. Um, um, my little angel, um, here's the bread I bought for you people. Um, take it. Take it to your prostitute of a girlfriend. We don't need it. Oh? Susanna. This is not what your mate takes to their wife and children at home. Susanna. After keeping them days without one naira, it's no loaf of bread. You threw away the bread I bought for you people? The bread I bought with my heart and money you threw it on the ground? It's all right. We will see who would buy another bread in this wait, house. Wait, no, it's okay. Me. No, continue. Enjoy your moment. Let's see who's going to replace another bread in this house. God you don't know how, you don't know how far I, I drove to buy this bread and then you threw it on the floor. No problems. And by the way, who brought this window into this compound? Yeah. Who brought the door into this house? Mm -hmm. Yeah, security! Who brought this leader into my house? Don't be distracted. Come here! <laughs> how did this get into my house? Jeff! How were you able to bring in this fantasy into my house? Okay. How? How did you bring in this fantasy okay. into my compound? Madam. How did you able to tell me? Who led you? Who showed you the way to bring this into my compound? Now, madam, madam. Madam what? Now, madam, and you brought in this, this, this fantasy into... You bring in this fantasy into my compound? You brought this... So babe, what do you have to say about the proposal? What do you want? Be your second wife? Yes. Just go ahead and be my second wife, the one I love. God forbid. Okay, fine. Can we do it this way? Just accept my proposal, accept to be my second wife, and so I can just go home and chase away Susanna with her children out of my life, out of my house. Why would you do that? Why would I do that? Because you're the one I love. I never loved her. Can you hear yourself speak? No. Someone who has two kids for you already. Really, Emeka? I have never loved her. I have never professed love to that woman. The truth of the matter is, this whole thing started when I lost my mother. She's the person who talks about how she loves me, how she cares about me, how she wants me to be happy. After I lost my mother, she came trying to keep companies and wanted to be with me. Before I knew it, she moved in with me. We started living together. And after March, somehow she got pregnant and I was then forced to go pay her bride price. And then we started living together. And the truth is, she was even the one that brought money for her bride price. And then, so, after all she did for you, she want to pay her back with evil? What are you saying? Come on, Emeka. Do you realize that we are talking about love here? We're talking about genuine existence of feelings here. Listen, marriage should be between two partners who love each other genuinely. Not people who got married out of pity or some kind of uh, sympathy or whatever. It doesn't work that way. And now I want to stand up. I want to go after my destiny. I want to live my life. I want to spend my life with the one I love. Emeka, can we just leave this relationship of ours this level it is? Can we just leave it at this level? Eh? And even if marriage will come, that should be later. Eh? That is even maybe. See, let's just enjoy this moment. Let's enjoy this relationship that we have. Until then, come on.
Um, Emeka. But you know I love you. You know. Mm, baby. I miss you, please. Come make love to me. Mm. Please now. I'll marry you. Can you imagine? He's asking me to marry him as second wife. <laughs> Chai. Doris, your eyes have seen we. This guy really loves you. Do you know if you ask him to divorce his first wife and marry him? He would not hesitate to do so. <laughs> Funny enough, he has. Really? Yes. He said if I accept his proposal, he will go straight to the house and chase his wife and the kids out of the house. Very serious. What kind of love is this? Oh, please, come off it. I don't love him. I do not love him. And I'm not even ready to marry him. All I want is money. I just want to cash out. I don't want one man to cage me in the name of marriage. Please, marriage is a commitment and I'm not ready to commit. Don't you like this baby girl life? I just want to be cashing and making money, cash out, make money, cash I love this baby girl's lifestyle. Or oh, don't you like it? I beg go. Oh, why is this love not coming to me? Do you want to marry him? Should I give him to you? Child? But I'll just be collecting his money. You will marry him. Shut up, girl. <laughs> Emeka, someone has to tell you this. It is very bad of you to forget all the sacrifices that woman made for you when all your friends deserted you when you lost your mother. She stood by you, making sure you had a good life at the expense of her own health. Now that it is time for you to pay her back, you're treating her like a nobody. Why are you doing this to her? Why are you doing this to her? She this woman will work from morning till night, Sunday to Sunday, no rest for her. Eh? Now that it's time for you to do this, get that back. You're treating her like a maid. Who are you? Someone must talk to you. My so you come back my to your own, My own is that he has bought the game in car. And your wife doesn't have a bicycle. You've gone to buy that girl. A car, your girlfriend. And your, because of your own children doesn't have even, even a bicycle in the car. What is wrong with you? Obimu, no one is talking of buying Susanna a car here. At least, at least, let him stop that woman from walking from farmland to farmland. Let him take full responsibility of a husband and a father too. Eh? No, buying a car is far from this now. Emeka, your wife and your children are living in abject poverty. They feed from hand to mouth. That woman is walking, <laughs> suffering to get her two children. Emeka. Why that stupid girl that insulted you when you were poor is busy enjoying your wealth of our friends that this girl won't fuck down for? Well, I can see that Susanna is so good at taking my name around the village to gossip. That's what she's been doing. I think gossip. Okay, sit down. Sit down. Let me put a I will not your sit head. down and continue to have the both of you talk to me in that manner. So Susanna has been taking. Oh, so this is what she has been doing. So she comes here and spends the whole day talking about me. You have no shame. You have no shame. See what you're saying. Bia, 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 bia. Where are you? you? Noro Jim. Calm down. Kosigini. Which Susanna? Which Susanna? Does she need to gossip? Eh? You think the villagers does not have eyes or what? I hey, tell him. They are seeing your foolishness. Let me tell you. They are seeing it. Let me even remind you. you see these villagers? They are the one gossiping, not Susanna. So leave Susanna out of this. Leave her out of so this. The reason you invited me here is to insult me. I can't sit down here and continue to listen to both of you sound this way. Oh. I can't do that. Oh, okay, go now. Yeah, but you can go. Me. Shame on you. You have no shame. I'm ashamed. I don't know how I'm doing. insulting me. It's you okay. can go. Go. It's like, not your fault. Go as much as big ass. I blame yeah, Susan. Go. Don't you have shame. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm not ready. You're not going to stop you. I say, Mr. Watch, buy, 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 car for, for one, for one, for one stupid girl. What do you want to wear? Where was she? Where was she? They are seeing it everywhere. They are seeing it. The players are seeing it. They are the one. What do you mean? They are the one complaining. Nothing. I don't even know. I don't even know how to do this. Emeka, I don't blame you. She mean I'm only cause I'm happy. Honey, I am happy you are not behaving like your friend. Because if you do, I wonder what would have become of me. He's not my friend. He is not my friend. I can't have a friend that is so senseless, that acts like a fool. 
It's not my friend. Doris, are you sure that girl is not using charms on him? Honey, what, what, what kind of charm are you talking about? Forget about that thing. Listen, a maker never loved Susanna. He never and never wanted to marry her. Yes, especially when he spotted that Doris of a devil. That girl messed a maker up. I can recall those days. He frustrated the young man because the man, the, the guy was, was so poor and broke. Okay, Emeka had no option now because he was poor. I had to fall back to Susanna. Now, he has made money. He has gone back to that girl that rejected him when he had nothing. And has left Susanna after everything Susanna did for him to become a man and become rich in this life. I don't know why can't that young man just help himself and stay away from that girl. What is all this? He has a good family. You see the way this whole thing is going? I don't like it. This is not nice at all. Eh? Why that poor girl? Why that innocent girl? She, she does not deserve this whole thing. She does but not because deserve of, it. Because of that, that toy, it's his waist. Waist? Is it not the same thing that is inside there? What is there? Susan has a good waist too. Is it not the same thing that is there? You too, you have a good voice and the same thing is here too. What is all this? You're asking me, Mama. He's just being senseless. You That's may, it. You may, I don't know what you want, seriously. I just, don't know what you people just, want. He's just being senseless. Just yes. drinking gary in the house. Susanna, why are you doing this? Why are you trying to implicate me? Why do you want the world to keep saying I make her did this, I make her did that? Why are you drinking gary in this house? Susanna, does it mean there's no food in this house for you and my children to eat anymore to the extent of drinking gary? Yeah. Yeah. We we'll have to go inside now, huh? Can I do my assignment? Hmm? Okay. Mm. I just want to say I'm sorry. I just want to say to you that I'm sorry for everything I've done wrong to you. I shouldn't have allowed you to come back to that minor job you used to. I should have been a better husband who takes care of you and our children. I have wronged you deeply. Please, find a place in your heart and give me a chance. I want to make things right again for us. Give me a second chance.
Today is Sunday, but you cannot create even if it's five seconds for your creator. Chimo, I didn't even remember that today is Sunday. You hey! don't remember. See, you will do your personal things, go about your personal ways, do your personal business from Monday mm. to Saturday. Sunday, just few, a few hours in the presence of God. You will not go and ac acknowledge your creator. I forgot that man. It will happen next time. Because... Well, eh, but you look so happy. What happened? What is it? And uh, where are your kids? You didn't go to church with them? Yes, we all went to the church together. But on our way back, I told my husband to drop me so I can see my friend. <laughs> chill, chill. Did I hear you say your husband? Emeka allowed you and your children in his car? That car? Changes has come. I am a chuku ne mere mo. Adi me bu benanya. I am ne mere mo. Adi me bu benanya. I am a chuku ne mere Susanna. Adi me bu benanya. My sister. That's why I decided to come and gist you. I'm not going to have my party. Let me give you the good news. You can with gist. Because come and sit down. You supposed to be here. What I'm done with this, eh? I will sit down so that you. Download everything that I need to know. I don't know, baby. Keep singing. I'm enjoying it. I'm not too good. To confront her. Well, I told that stupid thing to stay away from my. What do you call stupid? Are you mad? You called her stupid thing. May I remind you that the girl you call stupid is the love of my life. The one who's giving me so much joy in this life. I never loved you and you knew it. You forced yourself on me because you helped me when my mother was dead. You came to feel the vacuum of her absence, and then you feel it's a moral right for me to end up with you as my wife. But listen, this marriage is not working, and if you don't like it anymore, use the door and go with your kids. Do I make myself clear? 